What is good? We're back. Got a whole new episode. Getting ready for the draft, so going to just try to take it easy, move quickly, have a broad episode of a lot of things to discuss. Got a fresh crack to start this thing off. Jay Wayne, how you doing? I've been saving this thing, just waiting. Just waiting. And we have, a, we have another new member of the tripod here. He's been on the show a few times, but we got Matt Foreman over here. Welcome to the show, my friend. Thanks, guys. Always... Um I always enjoyed our time together. Looking forward to having a little more often now. Yeah, for sure. We're definitely going to be... Uh, it was our first in-house guest ever. Yeah, yeah. So, that was, you got to be an OG to go. That was a couple of years ago at that, least, I right? I think that was 2018. Wow. Boom. Oh, so long ago. Hey, but we're back. We're ready to roll. We are back. What are we doing today? We are just going to run through by division, um, AFC and then NFC. We'll see how far we get. Um and just see the, through the draft and the picks that these teams have, like what veteran could be, you know, value be kind of ruined in a in the draft here. And then, you know, maybe if they're if you have a rookie that would be associated that you think that team's going to draft, maybe how you would feel about that rookie landing there. Um, so just Garrett Wilson is definitely going to Falcons to the Falcons. Yeah. Okay. Every mock I saw had Garrett Wilson at eight first wide receiver off the board. Do you want to start in the AFC East? Not the Falcons. That's the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> AFC East. AFC, the, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's start there, and we'll start with the Jets. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Oh, yeah. So you can keep that. all that good stuff rolling. Um, so the Jets have picked 1-4, one, 1-10. One, they have 35, 38, and 69. So a bunch of picks inside nice. the top three rounds here. It's pretty much all but... Locked up at this point, it seems like the Jets with either 1-4, 110, or at the very least 35, the second round pick, probably going to take a wide receiver. Um, could be good for them as high as four, could be 10, could be Garrett, could be Drake. Uh, yeah, it seems like it seems like the mocks have them taking Wilson or London. I, I think those are I think those are probably two of the better guesses at 10. I, I think I think at four, they're probably going to go with a edge defender. I'd, I'd go. I'd hit, I'd hit the corner at four. I'd go Sauce Gardner. Yeah, that's another. Yep, yep. You got to defend. Sauce there's there's so many good receivers in this conference now. Like you got to defend them. Let's get him. And then I go at ten. I'd get a pass rusher. Try to find somebody to to do that there. But I mean, I think you can thirty five get the receiver. Yeah, exactly. I think you could be looking at like a George Pickens at thirty five. Sure. Maybe, mm. maybe a Christian Watson at thirty five. I think those sure. are. I think those are all good picks that you could t- get at 35, yeah. and would be a th- and that could play on the outside because um, I just don't think Elijah Moore's a I don't think he's a one I think he's a I think he's a second banana guy I just I just I've never been super high on him as a as like the guy on the team second banana so, so who I mean I guess that's I'd be fine with them kind of like you're saying drafting like an alpha guy is that what you're do you for this do you agree with them do you think Moore's more of a two than a than a one? Um, I think he could be. Uh, yeah, sure. I mean. You say yes, sir? Or? <laughs> I, I, I could get down with that. I, I think he could be a, a de facto one. I think the way that they kind of used him and force fed him, I, I, I feel like he responded well to the assignment and they, they wanted to feature him when he was out there, it seemed, and he responded well. Is there a BMI like requirement to be a number one? So, no, I just don't. I just. But this would probably move him into the slot then, right? For I sure. Mean, but if, yeah. what if they draft London and then, but like you kind of want him to play a big slot, like. I I think London can be. I think they both can be moved all over the place to match up with whoever. And um, that with that yak that London brings to the to the Shanahan system, gives, it gives Wilson a big target. Yes, I get that side of it where you're saying, hey, you want to surround Wilson with the best talent, but like. For, to me, I, I need to build other parts of my team first. Like, you could get by. You're going to get a receiver, a decent one at, at, at the 35 pick. Like, you can get by with whoever you're going to get there, Moore and Corey Davis, and I guess they have Barrios, right? Yeah, yeah. You could get – that's fine. Like, he – I heard You could play Mims inside what's too. going on like, over there. Someone, Daniel Jeremiah tried to say that Mims was like – Oh, all could right. get it together Back from or the something. Dead. Yeah, I was like, oh, wow, someone – so. You, doesn't sound like Didn't you like that. D- doesn't sound like you love more necessarily. So would this? You probably weren't drafting him where you needed to draft him at this point. But does this knock him down even a little further for you? 
I think it puts him to the area where he becomes a little more attractive to me rather than being like a him being drafted as a wide receiver two, probably in the more of the wide receiver three flex area for me. Hmm. I love I him as my wide receiver too. I don't think he'll drop that far to where he'd be a third wide. I mean, where is he at in ADP? I don't know. Couldn't tell. He's probably more. like 50. He's, I think he's top 50. Really? All effort. Yeah. Oh, he, he dropped to 50. No, that's Elijah Mitchell. Let me just come But where is he at in wide receivers? He's 36, wide receiver 16. Yeah, that's too high for me. Yeah, I figured that. I, that's the I kind of knew it was there, so I, that's kind of what I was referencing off of. That's the end of the start of the fourth round, basically. And, and, and he might, maybe he drops a little bit, but I mean, Elijah Moore or Terry McLaurin? Terry McLaurin, n- n- 11 times out of 10. <laughs> Fast response. Why, even with Wentz. Yes. All right. He did. He, I mean, Mc, McLaurin was there with Fitzpatrick. I mean, I think I think McLaurin's great if he could get somebody just semi competent to get him the ball. And I think Wentz is semi competent. Sure, I agree. I mean, he, I mean, definitely the best quarterback he's played with. Yeah, for sure. Was it was McLaurin wasn't there with Cousins at all? So, <sighs> yeah, I don't think so. Anyway, Elijah Moore or one four. You know, you can get probably one one of the top three wide receivers or a running back. I'm taking the one four. I think because you might could get Kenneth Walker. I think with them, if they draft a, a player this high, which I guess the second round is still plenty high, like it definitely would make me not want to take Elijah Moore in that scenario. But he may be just fine. Like if they just keep kind of running the offense through him in that Shanahan Lafleur kind of system. Um, sure, but I mean, I don't. If you're drafting somebody this high, you're you're gonna try to get him involved. Yeah. So I just. I think they're taking a wide receiver at ten. I I yeah. I, I, I think that's going to happen. Yeah, they're, they're they're taking one regardless. Well, right. they've tried to get a fucking free agent right to come in to just the draft guy has to come in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they were in the Tyreek Hill sweepstakes, but apparently they weren't really in there. They're in the Debo years. sweepstakes too, so maybe yeah, they'll he's trade. not going anywhere. No, he's not going so. to there. All right, so Bills next in the division. They have picked twenty five and then fifty seven uh, and eighty nine. So you know, pretty much just their draft going on there at 25 there's so much talk it built the, the running backs are like the mm-hmm. this is like the only hope that a running back could go yep. i don't really understand why the bills would draft a running back here doesn't really make that much sense to me i think singletary's fine you guys don't want to run the ball anyway like i get you're like we well, got to get somebody to take their load off of zach wilson or uh, uh josh allen and i'm like but is that do they like look, i mean allen's a part of their run game as well too. right he's a huge part of their run game but like they, they run they run the shit out of him like we get, they don't give it to the back like the the problem with them taking the first round pick is that they could get a guy to take some of the pressure off later and they don't have to draft that first I mean if they take a guy at 25 I just don't see it as like they're gonna oh, have to the give him the, the puzzle ball. and now they're just the best offense ever like it they just don't use the running back in any I, shape but what or I think really. I think see what <laughs> see what you guys are gonna say is there is they need to take Kenneth Walker in the second or third round. And I think that's adding to what they already have because they. I don't have, want them to take Kenneth Walker. I don't want them to take a running back. But they need a running back who can catch the ball. They need one. Singletary can catch the ball. Nah. Singletary was good down the stretch. Good. He Go back good. and watch it. It's good. He was good. They should have kept TJ Yeldon. That's what they should have done. They should have <laughs> kept TJ Yeldon. I will always stand for TJ Yeldon, but that's neither here nor there. Just if you're gonna just. Get some other pieces for the team and then go just draft. Take a shot or two on a running back a little later. So you want them to take like a Rashad White or something like that? Take Pierre Strong. There. That's not a wide zone scheme, (laughs) though, there. They want to ram it. So, I mean, I'm not really scared for any players on the Bills' value to drop necessarily. I think they could take a wide receiver in the Maybe Singletary, but nobody cares about him anyway. That's going to hurt Gabe Davis. That's it. I don't think so. I don't think so, though. I think he's fine regardless. I think they need a slot guy. I got Crowder, baby. Like I said, they need a slot guy. <laughs> That's um, going to play every week. Well, I get so much cheap Crowder everywhere. I've been getting so much cheap Crowder. <laughs> I mean, what is Crowder? I mean, I mean, what does Crowder cost? Like hey, a third, maybe no, a fourth? He's free at this point. But maybe, yeah, he's, all, he's been free for like a year. But, hey, when he starts and plays, you get 12 points. So Yeah, let me, let me get that. I'm just saying, if, if Sky Moore is there with a second pick... 
I wouldn't be surprised if they took him. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, uh, what's their second pick? I would rather them take another wide receiver than take a running back anywhere near their first three picks. From what I hear, I don't think Sky Moore will No, make I don't think he's going to be there either. So. No, I don't think he's going to be there either. But I'm just saying, if somebody falls, if there's a wide receiver who falls to their lap in the second round, I wouldn't be surprised if they took I him. I think the biggest, if they take a running back, it's a bummer for that running back. That's yeah, the for biggest, sure. That's the biggest 100%. fantasy impact that's from a good this. Good call, because I was about to move on. Yeah. But that is a good call. Like, I. If Brees Hall goes to the Bills, I don't love it. I still take him. Like, oh yeah, sure, I'm fine with taking him, but it's not. I'm not like super excited. Yeah, I just I watch it because like, I don't. Bills are always on. I watch them. shit. Ton of, they don't use the running back. Like, but is it? But do they not use it because that's not part of their scheme, or is it because the running backs are not that good? The running backs good enough. Like, yeah, but are they good enough? Or are they good? That's two different things. They're good enough. Yeah, they yeah they are. I mean, sing, he's single he's fine. Good enough. He's fine. He's good enough. To, He's good enough to, to give him the ball more. Right. They just don't give him the ball. Like I don't. They don't, They never run the ball. Like they just. They throw the shit out of it. Yeah. But we'll see how that changes that day ball. But I think that. Um, uh, sure. What What's the What's the quarterback from Miami? Who's I now, would now the OC there. What's his name? Uh, um. Ken Dorsey. Ken yeah. Dorsey. I, I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna play the same offense. Probably. I don't, so. I don't think we're gonna see a whole lot of changes yeah. in that offense. But. I just man. Well. It's, it's working, I guess. So. I think Hall takes yeah. a, I think Hall takes a but, hit if he goes there, but I don't Josh Allen could use some less wear and tear. I, yes. I agree with I agree with the sentiment of saying, Hey, let's get a running back and we're gonna run the shit out of the ball. I'm just not sure that, that they haven't showed me at all that they're gonna do that. Like I just Yeah. All right. Well let's move on. All right, New England. The Patties. Twenty one. I would say just out of since you've been terrible at yeah, it, don't just do don't it. draft the first round wide receiver. <laughs> Move it down the line, get get you a defensive player or an offensive lineman or whatever. Just hit it. Just get make the just don't just don't just, let it happen. Don't blow it. Um I don't know that I'm necessarily really buying too much on the New England offense, so I don't think I'm necessarily nobody's really scaring me off of anybody. I do I don't mind some cheek Kendrick Bourne way late in a deeper draft. I love me some Jacoby Myers. Sure. Love Jacoby sure. Myers. I, I like all of the players there for cheap. Yeah. Ramondre um, Stevenson. Yeah. Even sure. Devontae Parker. Sure. I mean, New England could certainly draft a wide receiver, but I'm not super they, scared. They need some more speed there. I don't know when that when that happens. The only person that I wouldn't mind seeing there is Jamison Williams. Mm-hmm. Uh, he probably isn't going to make it to 24. 21. 21. He could. He's coming off an injury. Yeah. All of I don't a sudden, see he's it, like, not I don't see it happening. Yeah. I don't see it happening. I don't but think he's at 21. I'm just saying. Olave might be. Yeah, but I don't. I don't. He's got speed. Yeah, but he doesn't have Williams. He doesn't have the. He doesn't have Williams. It's not quite Williams. Yeah, it's, speed. Not, it's not the same. Playmaking ability. Yeah. I made a lot of plays, but. For sure, no, but he doesn't have that. I mean, you tra- Williams' 21 tape is some is some. Williams some- is hold on tight because I'm gonna blow this game open one way or another. And Olave's yeah. like, hey, he's that guy's really good. We should stick him. But yeah, but he was better. Not- in, he was better in 20 than it was in 21. Yeah, Olave blows some games up too, though. I mean, yeah, it just he was the third best receiver on the team last year. Stacked room. It completely stacked room. I mean, he already be- he already built Williams out once, so I mean that's the case <laughs> yeah. closed. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Bada boom. Yeah, it makes Facts you wonder. Only. It makes you Straight wonder. One hundred. It makes you wonder what happened in that Ohio State room. How James Williams didn't play at all, and then yeah. he just comes to Alabama and just starts shitting on people. Yep. Joe Burrow. Justin Fields. Kenneth yeah, but Joe, Bur- Joe, Joe Burrow didn't start because he broke his hand or something like that. And then Dwayne Haskins balled out. R.I.P. Jeez, man. <laughs> oh, he's hey. Splish splash, taking a bath. All right. Nobody's really scared about anybody on the Dolphins. I'm not really anticipating too many skill position players. They don't have any picks, going right? They have, no, they, I think they have four picks. To quote Bucky Brooks, he said, F them picks, man. F them yeah. picks. Give me the player. All right. So let's move to the Dolphins. He was talking about the Rams, but. No same. first. I actually have that shirt coming, by the way. I bought that shirt of Les Seed saying with those with, the, with F them picks that he was wearing at the Super Bowl parade. I bought it. Nice. Strong well, shirt. Good for you. Shout out my Super Bowl. Shout chance. out my Rams. Yeah, yeah. It hurts my heart. Oh, yeah. I forgot. You're a 49ers fan. I am. 
Actually, I don't hate the Rams. If it was the Seahawks, I would be disgusted. But I had a, I had a, I had a, 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 a former friend of mine text me and told me that it was the biggest clown job, and I should be, I should be unhappy that as Rams <laughs> fan that they won that game. Hey, whatever you got to tell yourself, you know. It was a clown job. Yeah, he's like it's the worst team to ever make the Super Bowl. I'm like, okay, dude. Okay, <laughs> it's a bad friend. That's why it's a, strategy. A, it's a guy I used to work with. Yeah. That. I mean, in a former life. Shut up, Gary. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's hit these Dolphins. No first round, no second round. There's nothing to Made talk some about. trades. They got a third rounder. There's no impact here. Probably probably not a whole lot of impact going on. Nope, I don't see them taking the skill. I Maybe a running back somewhere? Nope, I don't probably think not. so. They just, they, just, they just picked up two. Yeah. Ah, uh, they like to draft them late, though. That's a chance. Yeah, but they've got way. four guys already there. Yeah. All right, let's go to Pittsburgh then. Let's move switch divisions. We'll go uh, AFC North, Pittsburgh. Yep. They got they got 20, 21? No, that's 20. 20. Patriots have 21. Any uh, any fantasy implications here that, that you're worried about? Yes, if you somehow got a cheap Mitch Trubisky. That, and then uh, at some point, I guess, a wide receiver, but uh, I don't know. I think they're going to take one. I just don't know how early. They're not taking one in the first round, but... A wide receiver? Yeah. Yeah. I, they could. I mean, they only have the two, and they're not under long-term contracts, so I could see them taking... But they need a quarterback, right? Is that That's kind of like the thing, is what happens with Deontay and Claypool if they take a rookie quarterback, right? Yeah, yeah. but I think, I think unless you take Pickett, you're, they're probably not playing a whole lot year one. I mean... Yeah, you it get sounds Mitch like for a year. I mean, his, it sounds like Willis probably won't be there, right? They're not going to get him at 20. They could move up if he falls. Steelers don't move up. They could. They need a quarterback. So if they bring in Malik, he beats out Mitch. But do they want uh, – he's raw. Yeah. He's raw. I don't, I don't know if he does beat out Mitch. Like, But I don't know if they want him to beat out Mitch. Right. I they think want Mitch like, this year. That's what we're doing. He's we're fine doing enough. Mitch. He's fine enough. He's fine enough. He's fine enough. He's not good enough. But I mean, he's I, fine I, I, don't, I don't. I don't. I'm not like being like, oh my god, the you know the Pittsburgh if Steelers Devin's, have such a quarterback upgrade over there. Like Mitch is going to be just fine. But like, I'm not like excited about if it. If Devin Singletary is good enough, then Mitch is good enough. <laughs> you said fine enough. Fine enough. Not good enough. Fine he's enough. Fine enough. He's fine enough. Yeah, that's. That's a few grades below. I'd rather have Devin Singletary playing running back than Mitch playing quarterback. If they, at whatever Agreed. realm that equals out in, I don't know. I don't think we've given. I'm not going to sit here and stand for Mitch, but I think that we. Don't, <laughs> I, we I'll don't, stand for Mitch. I'm fine with it. I like Mitchell Mitch just for fine. one. Okay. Whatever. He doesn't Mitch, like Mitch. Mitchell. I don't because it rhymes with snitch. <laughs> a lot of words. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So. The quarterback is really the main issue here. We think that they could draft a wide receiver, but I'm not. Wor- but I'm not discounting Deontay or Claypool to take a wide receiver. Yeah, or or, or a quarterback. quarterback. No, no, I don't think so. It's better for them if they get a quarterback, probably. So in the long term, yes. So nothing. I don't even know if they'll long term be Steelers. So just take the talent. Yeah, <laughs> nothing too concerning there. Cleveland, uh, they don't have a first um, ever again, but they have a lot of other picks. Um, they got two through seven. They got two thirds. Um, they got seventy eight and seventy nine. So, but they what's got, their highest pick? They got? Uh, I don't actually have that information in front of me. Two seven. Uh, they have I, two seven. I'm not sure. I don't know what if that means. I don't know what that means. It's a bad. If we're talking about veterans here, why are we not talking? Matt, why about, don't you look it up? Why are we not? Talk, I'm just kidding. You why are we not talking about Donovan Peoples Jones? Well, that's the thing, right? If they if they do take a well, how high can they take a wide receiver, and then is that wide receiver, you know, what's gonna it's gonna be him, Amari Cooper, David and Joku, and D, Donovan Peoples Jones? Yeah, with with a lot of production, to, assuming to go and around. a and a significant upgrade at quarterback. Well, w- depending on what happens with the suspension, are you gonna get how many games of Jacoby Brissett gonna be, are you gonna get there? But Brissett is. Is Brissett an upgrade over Mayfield? I would say at least it's a lateral move. No. Well, Mayfield played with a torn. He couldn't. He had a bad shoulder. You know? No, I'm not giving Brissett that much credit. Uh-uh. I mean, they're going to be without him for eight games. We're playing dynasty. I, I'm saying probably over under eight games, right? 
10. Could they give him the whole year? They could. The, yeah, this it's not that's not out of the realm. No, of not at all. Not for 23 women. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But I'm still pretty much fine with buying <laughs> into the Cleveland offense at this point. Yes. Um so they do have some ammo in the front half of the draft. Are we worried about it's probably not really worried about Amari pick. Cooper. They have the 44th pick and the 78th pick. You you might not have felt great about Amari Cooper, but this is fine. Yeah. You're you're, yeah. you're down with this. Nothing that they're doing is going to make me worried about Cooper. Yeah. Donovan Peoples Jones could take a hit, I suppose, if depending on how high. He I'm. could, but I'm buying but if I can I'm buying him now. And and the Joku? Yeah. He's fine. I'll, I'll buy. I'm if, if, he falls, if he falls I, low enough, let me get Joku. I'm, I'm, I'm ready gonna, to jump back. I, I'm always going to pay any premium for him, but if he's sitting around later, I'll, I'll I'll take a I'll take a stab. I never had any in Joku because when he got <laughs> when he came out, it was he was so hot. Yeah. You know, it was so ex- beers were six dollars forty. They were so expensive. <laughs> I don't have any, but now you can get them. I get ready to jump back on the Joku train. Anyway, yeah, nothing's going to affect him. No, I right. paid him. Let's go to Baltimore. They got the 14th overall selection, the 45th overall selection, the 76th, the 100th, and then a bunch of fourths. They got a ton of picks up high. The Ravens probably going to move around a bit. Yeah. Um, so I think a lot of their needs are non are non fantasy worthy picks. Probably, Ooh. probably so. Yeah. With the exception of, I guess maybe they could take. No, no, you're 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 probably right. So. I mean, they could take a wide receiver, but I wouldn't expect it before the third round. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're always, they always need a, they're, it's an evergreen. They always need a wide receiver. I mean, they just cut Miles Boykin. Mm hmm. Yeah. I mean, All right. I, yeah. I mean, I Baltimore, wouldn't worry too much about Baltimore. We'll move, we'll move past Cincinnati. 31st overall pick. They got most of their other picks. I mean, you saw offensive line upgrades. Obviously, you're probably not drafting a quarterback, you're not drafting a wide receiver. Probably not drafting a running back. Maybe later. Right. They could use but a tight end. They could use a tight end. Um, but probably not 31st. Eh, McBride at 31 wouldn't be terrible. <laughs> oh, I'm going to just wait around in that. If I need a tight end, I'm going to just wait around to the second round. Oh, at yeah. the end of it or the third. Because you want to take um, likely. Oh, oh just any of them. Whichever one's whatever. It's not likely one of those second round mocks. Whatever maybe. one's fall. Um, I think McBride helps them more when they're in their blockings in their block yeah. more than the other tight ends. Do. Sure. He's he can he can get in there. Wait around, take a Charlie Kohler, or Jeremy Ruckert, something like that. Mm. That's fine with that, too. Kohler had a, had a nice little pro day there. Um, all right. So not too worried about anything in Cincinnati, really. No. All right. Uh, let's move to the AFC South Houston. They got the third pick and the 13th pick. Um. Then they got 37, 68, 80, a fourth. So they got, you know, a nice stack of picks here. They pretty much are just just take whoever is the best player you can get. I mean, that's, yeah, that's I mean, kind of yeah. what I would do. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. They're, now, that's not saying that they couldn't take a receiver at 13 or 37. Yeah, or quarterback. I think they've got some interesting pieces there with Cooks. They need a he, running back. They need a running back. I think they could get into the Kenneth Walker. I Any think, running or, back goes there, I'm fucking in. Yeah, for sure. If if I can get a landing spot for Brees Hall, it's it's in it's Houston. Houston would be fun. Really? Yeah. Yes. He's gonna get the, yes. Why? There's no competition There's, yeah, and you're, yeah, you're he's number, the guy. Yeah, your yeah, your your best competition is Brex Burkhead and Marlon Mack. But you gotta move the ball and shit. I mean they weren't the worst. And yeah. Mills Mills was, was he pretty, played well pretty down decent. the stretch. Um they get they stay they got Brandon they got, Cooks. They signed him some money. There are some there's some patchwork pieces that aren't the worst there. And I, I just they got some picks right here. They can make some moves. I like I kinda like what could be possible here, and I think that Brees or Kenneth or whomever goes there is, is gonna get a real shot at a decent amount of volume. You know. Wholeheartedly agree. So. Don't forget about Nico Collins. Yeah. Oh, I like Nico Collins a whole lot. He's Let in the get... same vein with Peoples Jones, is where he's sitting as a number two wide receiver. I, I now think that's perfect. I love that. I, if I, I could get a third, if I, I could... don't leave drafts without Nico a lot of the times. I do sometimes let Peoples Jones slip out of my graphs, though. Peoples Jones had some big games last yeah. year. Oh, um, I love some the nice dart throw. acrobatic catches. Like he's he's got it. All right, so we like a running back there. Not so worried about wide receivers. Is what it is. Uh, 
Colts. Um, they obviously don't have their first, um, but then they have some picks. Thanks I, to the commanders. I think that they desperately need a wide receiver. I think that that's like one of the worst skill positions outside of Jonathan Taylor. Obviously they have Pittman, but like I love Paris Campbell. I'm always drafting Paris. I've been drafting Paris Campbell for years. Yeah, but you're drafting Paris Campbell, what, like the 18th round? Sure, right. We just keep kept getting later and later, and I'm still drafting his ass, and I like him, but we can't just can't lean on him. We can't Depend see, on yeah. Him. If he if he can get on the field, he's probably going to be good. If, right. If he can't, then bummer. Um, I just – they they need another guy for me, and I you know I don't know if that necessarily would hurt my conviction for Pittman because I do like Pittman a good bit, but I don't I don't think it would necessarily drop him off my radar. I think no, I think I think they need something different than Pittman. I think they need a field stretcher. Yeah, because Hilton's not getting. You need another playmaker. Yeah, for sure. Somebody else to throw the ball to. Another another option for a tight end as well too with the retirement right. of Jack Doyle. Right gloves at tight end. He can't find Doyle and Allie Cox and and well, Doyle, just, Doyle retired. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Return of the Mac, though. Gotta love me some Mo Alley yeah. Cox. It's just like everywhere you look, they there's just Granson, a mad guy. Oh, yeah. Got it. Granson, yeah. Granson, yeah. Another guy. Probably did he, like did he have an injury? I, I'll, I'll stash Ashton Dolan and uh, Mike Strachan or whatever his name is. Strachan. There's, Strachan, there's, yeah. there's some, there could be some juice there, maybe. Strachan. But, I mean, they need somebody. They need somebody. And I, I like the landing spot. If, if a wide receiver went there, I'm fine with it. Like, but I'm, I'm not discounting Pittman because of the draft wide receiver. I, I don't think so Definitely either. Not. They, there's enough. He's already kind of a discount. Maybe he gets a little cheaper. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Maybe, maybe not. I mean, I like him with Ryan better than Wentz. Sure. I right. mean, I like two guys with Ryan, so that's fine with me. I could do that. Um, Jags. Uh, probably. Gonna, it seems like they're going to take a pass rusher with the first pick. Yeah. Um, but then they have, you know, a two and two threes. And yeah. then the rest of their picks for the most part. Pittman's so. not really a discount. He's at 39 overall anyway. Yeah. Jaguars. Okay. Don't. Don't see any, like. Now, I mean, they spent so heavily on wide receiver. They're kind of set at running back. But they had to overpay because no one would come there kind of like the Jets. So they could force someone to come there yeah, to the draft. I, mean, I think you have so many other needs. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And you get you get E.T. coming back. That's like a big weapon in the passing and receiving game. Sure. You're going to just – just like a free gift. Like, right. oh, shit. We lost Urban. He's like another – getting E.T. They couldn't yeah. have gotten any better in the offseason. <laughs> Yeah, it's like he's gonna be another first round pick for them. Yeah, because he didn't play at all. But how does he come back after the Liz Frank? That's the other thing. I think he'll be fine. He's twenty three, twenty four years old and a ridiculous worker. So I think he. I think if, if I feel good about anyone coming back from it, it's ET. And I think they're saying he's like around eighty, eighty five percent right now. So yeah, buy them all. Let's go. Except for yeah, I I I just that wide receiver room is weird. It is weird. It's very weird. I agreed. It's right. Marvin Jones, though, man. Nobody really. Staple. Sure. Nobody really worried about anything on the Jags. Uh, round out the division with the Titans. They got 26, and they don't have a second. So then they pick 90. They have two fourths, um, a fifth, and two sixths. Um, they got to pick a receiver. AJ Brown, right? Yeah, they need a receiver. He took he took the Titans shit down off his Instagram. <sighs> are, we, are we over that yet? I'm uh, fine with it. Fuck them. I mean, I'm Bitch, fine pay with me. it. I ain't gonna rep like, your shit. Pay me. But it, it, I mean, it's fine for them to do it. But why do we have to report on it every fucking time? Uh, it's, there's a lull period it's right news. now. It's news. It's news. <laughs> Great. I'm gonna take my employer things, out of my Instagram. The oh, things wait, that not qualify it, for so. news nowadays. Yeah, it's low bar. Low, low bar, bar for sure. I mean, I want to know. That Everybody's got that. a camera, so everything's <laughs> fucking news. I want to know that they did it. I want to know. Yeah. He did that shit. I'm not following AJ Brown on Twitter. Sorry, AJ. I guess I could. I mean, just. So the, I don't know. They got to pay him, though, right? Uh, and even if they take a wide receiver. I don't know what probably, they're going to do. They're not going to take a wide receiver in the first round, are they? They could. I, I, they should. They, they should? I think, I, think they, I think I'm fine with that. You, just, like the, just like the Colts, you need, you need something. You need yeah. Julio, wasn't it? You need something. You don't have anything. I mean, you did bring in Hooper, which maybe that's good. I don't know. Um, they brought and in and they traded for AJ Robert Brown's Wood. awesome. I thought, fucking love AJ Brown. They but brought in Robert Woods, too. They but, didn't, but he's ooh. coming back off an injury and he's 30. Yeah. Um, so, you know, you, you need somebody and, and give Tannehill some help. I don't know what's going on with AJ Brown. He's also got maybe some rickety knees already. And, you know, it doesn't look rickety when he plays. No, he looks, I love him. If there wasn't, if he wasn't hurt so much, he would be my number one fucking guy. I don't, I love him, but he he gives me he gives gives me some, some, pause? some pause, yeah, for sure. I could, I could see if 
if there's a quarterback that falls, falls, I could see them taking one at 26. Really? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, all right. They hate Tannehill? They don't hate him, but, I mean, to have someone sit there for a year or two, give some of the competition, I mean, Tannehill's Tannehill. He's a game manager. He's never going to win you a game. I think he's kind of the guy who said, all right, Ryan, don't go out this and fuck it up. He's pretty good at that, though. He's Yeah, he can, he can run enough. He has moments, but yeah, I mean, you're, you're solid enough. You're more right than not. I think, I think in the, <laughs> I think in the third, I think in the third or fourth, you could be looking at a Derrick Henry backup slash future replacement. Well, they do need someone else because yeah. Darrington Evans. They need skill position guys. Yeah, they need some pizzazz. Yeah, they're lacking in the pizzazz. <laughs> that's department. not what this is about. Brable's not about no fucking oh, pizzazz. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like Brable, he's got the rest of the shit locked down. You need a little. Uh, who is Oomph. Jiminy Glick? Some the, you know, buddy? Confetti? Dude, yeah, the dude who used to run around. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know, Jiminy. Cricket. Jiminy, hey, Jiminy Cricket. Jiminy yeah. Cricket. Yeah. Or was it Rip Van Winkle? That, he was, slept. The guy who threw, always came on the screen through the confetti. What None of you, those guys. I, not, nobody. I'm huh? completely missing your point. It's, it's one of those guys. Somebody I, I just think named. That's actually signed for jizz everywhere. <laughs> That's uh, Tom Segura's new tour. I'm coming everywhere, so go check that out. At all. <laughs> yeah, I was I was citing a Aziz Ansari joke. <laughs> Are you guys That's going a, to that? By the way, he's coming I, here. I am. Who? Uh, oh yeah. I was thinking about buying Tom, tickets. Are you going yeah. to the 7:30 show? Yeah. For what, Tom Segura? Yeah. yeah. Are you and Claire going? Uh, me and more. We don't have to discuss uh, personal. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't get invited to these shits, so I'm like. <laughs> you and Clay going to another comedy concert without stop, me? Stop me and Clay. If you want to go, we can go. I, I, I'm, yeah, <laughs> me and Matt will go without you. You will sit. We'll sit and look at y'all weirdly. Well, there's the, uh, the seven thirty shows sold out, so I had to go to the ten o'clock show. Uh, Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Added a second one. Good for him. Good. Good for Charleston. He's a funny guy. He is. All right, back Coming to the Titans. Everywhere. Worried? Not worried. <laughs> Like a skill position player go in there yes. or not? I'll take the skill position I'll, player that gets not, drafted. I'm not worried about anybody yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. Yep. All right. Raiders. We're going last division in the yeah. AFC. They don't have a first. They don't have a second. They got thirds, fourths, couple fifths. Nope. It's already done there. Already they, they've, done. they've shot all their shots, F right? picks. I'm buying, I'm buying all the late round Brian Edwards. <laughs> all right. I, hey, shoot your shot. If I can super like I forgot pick. about Brian Edwards. He was real uh he was hot. He yeah. was hot for a minute and then He was hot in the streets. <laughs> and actually carried value into the second season. Mr. OT this hot. past year. Yeah, every once in a while he just jumps off. Oh yeah, he'd have one page catch in overtime for like fifty yards or a first nothing down. Nothing for the rest of the day. Conversion or something, yeah. So nobody's worried about anybody on the Raiders. They're probably not doing anything. Chiefs. Oh man, they they they've oh got my God. They've got two picks in the first four rounds all through all throughout. Like, I feel like as soon as people started talking about Jamison to the Chiefs, that's when Jamison's stock started rising. And now there's no chance that he makes it that far. Yeah, I mean, unless they want to try to trade up to get him. They which could. They have plenty they of picks. They do like to trade up, too. And they have the ammunition to do it. Right. So. Which, I mean, isn't the worst move ever. I mean, I mean like, which is kind of like. What round was McColl drafted in? Was he a second round pick? I couldn't tell you. He was he was like a third pick. I think he was a third or a fourth. I think he was a second. I'll I'll look it up. You guys keep discussing the Chiefs. Because I don't know how much we trust Andy Reid. Basically, is what I'm thinking. Like, well, everyone says with the second round, the second wide receiver on the Chiefs and Andy Reid's offense never means anything. But who's the first guy there? Is it Juju? Is it MVS? I mean, Hardman's Mm. still there. Second round, got to be Juju. Really, Hardman the second round? I hate that. Yeah. Oh, I hated it too. I didn't like it either. (laughs) But everyone was like. Oh my God, he's Tyreek. Because Tyreek was like out of the league at that point for like two weeks or something, or th- yeah. like two months maybe. And everyone just, if you had a rookie draft during that period, you were reaching up for McCole in the first because Andy Reid pegged him and it was his guy. They traded up to get him and pegged him, huh? Pegged him, yeah. Um, Square holes. So down. I think. I think you got. I mean, I like I like Juju to the Chiefs, but I mean, if they, if they do go up and grab a, a Jamison Williams, it's it definitely gives it's me a lot more though. pause I mean, on Juju. It, it certainly is different, but be I mean, good for Juju because then they no way. 
Yeah, less targets is never a good thing. Well, but the way Especially they, when the way there's they, already a Kelsey and, you know. But like, the way that they switched how they played with with the two high safeties. Yeah, I mean, they're just. And, and, and yeah, it was but, a lot yeah, of dink and dunk. Yeah, but how much was that? How much was it? How much was that? Was that because of Mahomes or how much was that because of Hill? Probably Hill. A little bit of both. But Hill, I mean, I, I don't know what it's going to. I don't. There was a time when people really down on the Chiefs this past year was oh, news well, to be just, like these guys suck and yeah well why? they just had been good for so long that the, you, you you know you want to hop on and you're like ah they're, they're not good anymore that's not not gonna happen again without Tyreek though is what I'm saying well like, that's what I mean if if they, if they go up to get Jamison Williams they're, that's what they're tr- they're trying to get the closest thing they can get to Tyreek Hill and if if Jamison Williams we think he can do what what we're projecting him to do then they're probably right and they're probably going to smash with that pick I'll, um, I'll, I'll tell you who i'll tell you who hurts juju the most is if they draft is Jahan dotson if they draft dotson yeah because dotson's going to be high Dotson's, volume no because dotson plays in the slot he's going to be a slot receiver mm. in the nfl and juju plays better out of the slot than he does out wide yeah that would be not that dotson fun. can play out wide right <sighs> he struggles against press man. And they all do coming out. But he's got his release isn't great. He struggled with drops early in his career. Strong he doesn't drop catch. it now. He does not drop it. That man's a plucker now, but yeah. and he's, he's got strong, strong hands. He's strong. He's and every time y'all boys needed something, he was your guy. Yes, but he double catches too often. It doesn't matter. He was that's the guy you want. You got you want the guy he also who whenever like you need something. Yes, I watched an Ohio State game on my 140 inch projection screen. <laughs> I saw it happen in 140 inches when they were losing to, by down by 20 in the fourth quarter. I saw it. But you, uh, you want the guy who is the guy who like that's the, you know when they need something they're going to him and ev- that was Dotson like the Penn State fan not being that high on Dotson. Is- no, I have I, the, the last Penn State wide receiver I've been high on was was Chris Godwin. <laughs> well, that's a good track record. Being you know I know that's your that's your team. I'm, I I think I'm I'm probably higher on Dotson than you. Um, Just wait till next year when Parker Washington comes out. But. <laughs> But I think that's a fair point. If you get somebody that could play a little more slot, um, would would definitely could potentially really hurt Juju's value there. Um, so you got to be stoked. Anybody the 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 receiver that would potentially go there, I guess. I mean, for the most part, anybody like the value is going straight up for pretty much whoever the Packers and the Chiefs draft. Correct. Like that's going to be the guy that everybody's like, oh, you know what? I really like this guy. Like even if it wasn't. Jamison Williams, and it's a second or third round guy like a Jahan Dotson. All of a sudden, everybody's gonna be like, oh, you gotta get Dotson." Yeah. All right. What else has me a little bit intrigued is the uh, Edwards Hilaire situation. I think with all the picks they have, they could take a running back in the third or fourth round that I think would give me a little bit of pause with Edwards Hilaire. As yeah. if there wasn't enough of a reason to pause with Hilaire already. Yeah, for sure. See, si, see, si, very intrigued. Yeah, I mean that is that is intriguing. Some some. CEH, you know, we're big, we were big CEH guys and they did sign Rojo and there was already, you know, probably a decent amount of pause on, on CEH. So yeah, I'm sure if they do bring in somebody else in the third round, it's got to, uh, you know, ruffle your feathers or, or, uh, you know, make your haunches stand up or I don't know, some, some sort of metaphor there for (laughs) stupid. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Uh, chargers. Maybe a receiver at some point, or or a running back, but probably not. Like nothing, nothing over there for me, really. I think they're in the tight end market as well, too. Tight but end, I, sure. I don't think I don't know how high anyone does on Donald Parham. So, mm-hmm. I like Parham, but he was it a back injury. I think he was. That was he was. That was bad. Yeah, whatever it was, was not pleasant. He is like six ten or something ridiculous. They got <laughs> Gerald Everett, your old boy. Yeah, forgot about Gerald Everett. Strong yeah. pop. By way of South Alabama. Yeah. Yeah. The Rams. Are they the Rams? No, the, the oh, Rams. I thought South, South Alabama Rams. Um, yeah, I mean, Chargers. Yeah, but right. I'm not I'm not discounting Keenan or Mike yeah. Williams because of anyone they bring in. And and they they probably aren't bringing in a tight end or a, a wide receiver. I guess they could, but they could, but yeah, later I, round, again, I guess, yeah. but. They could uh, use they, they could use some speed. They could, they, they they could do a bunch of some things later there, but um doesn't doesn't really yeah um, 
if anybody really goes there, then yeah, I'd be if a, if a player went there, then I'd they'd be on the radar at least now. Right. Especially if even if it was a six rounder, it'd be somebody that you'd be like, oh, okay, guess I'll check them out. Yeah, and so Denver then moving on to the last division in the AFC, the last team in the AFC here. Um, they don't have a first; they have a second, sixty fourth, two thirds, two fourths, a fifth, six seven. Um, you know, a lot of talk about running back there. That would be a huge bummer to both parties, Javante and whomever they. Bring yeah, in there. for sure. Yeah, um, I I could see them going late, but I mean, you you just spent decent capital. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't make any sense to me to go. Yeah, top two, three picks. Um, again, but, again, tight end there as well too with a a Quaybanon, a Quaybanon. I think we're that's, just gonna go Alex Alberto. I think it's a Quaybanon. Uh, good on you for throwing it out there. Shout out to yeah. um uh, Caleb Reed. Caleb Reed, shout out. <laughs> um. So no, nothing to worry about in Denver really too, too much outside of them maybe being a little aggressive on a running back. Fourth, fifth round running back, I guess, still bums you out a little bit, but doesn't – doesn't. Uh, no, I, I don't I feel mean, any different about Javante than I did if, before yeah. the draft. All right. So that's going to put a bow on the AFC. Let's jump over to the NFC side of things. I'm not going to run through every single team in the NFC – but let's just jump to some ones that may be intriguing for you. Uh, NFC West, really probably the Cardinals at 23. I, I, I don't think that that's what they should do. If they want to take a receiver, you know, 87 or 55, fine. Um, but would, would, a, would a receiver there, I, it would hurt my Rondell Moore thoughts. Yeah, I mean, Hop, Nuke's not getting any younger, so. Right. No, but signed for a while, and I think they did bring back A.J. Green again, right? They did, yep. They just re-signed him recently. Kirk's out of there. Yeah. Wildly overpaid, but... Got to in Jacksonville. No one's going to Jacksonville for free or for cheap. Got to double fun. it. Got yeah. to double it. <laughs> that, that Jacksonville tax. Have you yeah. guys been to Jacksonville? Not a great place to live. <laughs> Shout out to all of our Jacksonville viewers. <laughs> Duval. <laughs> Yikes. Um, so, yeah, I think Rondell, that would be a bummer if they took another guy as high as, as uh, probably the first or the second there. Cause Maybe they should stop with the wide receivers because they're not drafting well. I mean, you know, Kirk was okay when he was healthy, and, and I think Rondell was pretty good when they used him, but that's the problem. Like, you, if you're going to like, get Rondell, you got to use him. Like – he had eight out of what under a yard or something like that crazy. Yeah, there's then he never can be good. Nope. Uh, I'll, I would be buying some Rondell Moore, uh, but if 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 the first or second round pick is a receiver, that'd be a bit of a bummer. Indeed. Um, Eagles fifteen and eighteen, and fifty one, eighty three, and one hundred one. So you know five picks in the uh, first three rounds. Another team, why they keep, they keep missing on wide receivers? I mean, yeah. they could have had they could have had Justin Jefferson and um, uh, and uh, DK. DK, DK Metcalf, but instead yep. they have JJ Arthago Whiteside and uh, Jalen Rager. <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah, they, I think Devonta Smith is is good, and yeah. you know after Hertz left, Goddard was good. Hertz is is good enough. Um, I think Philly's waiting on twenty twenty three to decide about Hertz. That's for why sure. They, that's Do why they, they moved one of those first. To next, to next year, a hundred percent. Yeah. Um, so they're not they're not taking a quarterback this year. I can't imagine so. But not I, with Minshew there still too. It seems like there could be a wide receiver for them again at fifteen and eighteen. Yep, for sure. Um, I did. I don't love it because I just feel like with I mean I guess you could take the shot, but with Hertz, it doesn't really matter. He's not going to be able to support all these players. Like I feel like you could just skip that draft pick right now and get some good players around everybody here and not take the receiver, but it seems like they're probably, there's a good chance that they will. The problem is I don't like their depth after Smith. Right. I don't, I'm not saying I do either. I'm just saying like, I'm not sure that that really helps this team this year. Like, I just feel like Hertz isn't going to be able to facilitate enough guys for it to matter that you drafted a fifth, you know, a wide receiver 15th overall. But how do you really get a feel on Hertz if you're not surrounding him with talent? I, I, I think I kind of have the feel for him for the most part. Like, yeah, I think I don't think he's bad and he keeps getting better. He's a great um, I think he's gonna be a better fantasy quarterback than real world quarterback. Because I, yeah, of and I, ability. I, I just don't think the Eagles want him long term. It doesn't you know, we'll see. But um, so I would probably do something else if I were them. But if 
if somebody does land there, you know, it's dynasty. I'm okay with the Eagles spot in general because you're right. You know, there's not a whole lot there. So it could be good and, and they will probably will make a not probably. There's a chance that they make a quarterback change in in 2023, like you're saying. Um, so, you know, you just got to be patient. I, do you like it? Do you like the Eagles for a landing spot for a wide receiver? Yeah, because of the because of the lack of depth there. And I'm not that super concerned with Smith either. He's a fine player, but I mean. You're not, geez, you're not super concerned with Smith. Hurt from uh, being hurt from hurting from, from oh, hurting yes, another receiver. Yes, I would be concerned with Smith if they brought in a receiver at fifteen or eighteen, especially if it's like. Um, I think it really depends when they br- who they bring in. I mean, if, if it's Olave, if it's uh, Traylon Burks, then, I mean, yeah, then I'm a bit concerned there. But I mean, just because they didn't depends feed him a bunch of targets well too. Yeah, but he's. I mean, he's fine. I mean, I mean, he's a good player. He's. I shouldn't say he's fine. He's a good player. He's, I, I, he's yeah, really good player. Yeah, he's a, yeah, great, pretty pretty strong rookie season. If we're back uh, when how again, we used but to there's nobody else on. that was there. That's the other problem, right? But he still didn't get an, he, and still he still didn't get a whole lot of volume. More yeah. targets, yeah. they didn't give. They him didn't that target many. him enough. Like that's why. He's, like yeah, I'm worried about Devontae Smith too. If they bring in somebody else for sure, and I'm already worried about Devontae Smith from I, th- I think you know you're holding him down a tier or two for sure by. Not being able to let him spread his wings a little bit here. He's, He's a, a peacock. peacock. Yeah. <laughs> Jinx. Um, so, all right. Giants 5-7. There's a chance they draft a receiver, but it seems like offensive Again, line. Again, just things. like, why are they drafting wide right. receiver? They've got a, a you dearth got, of guys there right, already. Right. Just girth. Go with what you got. You're fine. And, and fill some other holes. Do Cowboys, they, wild card. Real quick, do the yeah, Giants man. draft a Saquon replacement? I don't think so. Maybe Maybe later. But I don't I'm, not, I'm not saying so I'm not saying obviously not a five or seven, but yeah, I mean maybe eighty-one. They got they got five picks in the in the first uh, three rounds too. Yeah, so I mean I could see it. I, I'm I'm in on Saquon this year. I'm give me give me one. You more already trip. know how I feel about Saquon. Give me one more trip. <laughs> um, how about the Cowboys? Seem like a wild card there. They kind of need something else on offense all of a sudden. Gallup's yeah. going to be out for a little while. Um, no probably. Cooper. Obviously, you bring in James Washington. No Cooper. So, it's CD. No and Wilson. No, yeah, no Cedric and Wilson's with the Dolphins. Dalton Schultz and, and CD to start the season. Uh, and they like the they do like the pizzazz and the oh, splash. Oh, for sure. Splash. So, I mean, wild card landing spot. If Traylon Burks is there. Yep. Olave again. Same thing. Same thing. I wouldn't hate Olave to the Cowboys, although... Yeah. Seems pretty similar to what CD offers, but I mean, mm-hmm. nothing wrong with whatever. Nothing, nothing wrong with what CD offers. I feel like no. they're very different. CD is such a beast after the catch, and Olave is blow gets blown over by the wind. I mean, he's not taking any contact, and and bra- he's not yeah. breaking a single tackle. Yeah, he's a, or he's CD's a, like a monster after the catch. I Olave think, probably a little better deep speed. Yeah. Than CD, but CD can Better get pure behind. athlete, yeah. Yeah, I think it's well, more smooth. It's a different type of player. I feel like with CD is kind of more of like a beast, like a an alpha, a potential alpha, mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah, well, maybe. I think Olave would or, function best as a as a second fiddle there. Oh, for sure. He's he is a second. He needs to be the number two. He's he's definitely going to be, and I think he's going to be more of a help your professional team than help your fantasy team kind of guy in the in the in a in the right system with the right quarterback but i think dallas is that right system it, it certainly could be they, they can get they, they can get vertical get vertical so cowboys got to be in a that, wild card does that slide cd down even more because he's already on a slide uh, i'm i'm no nope, i'm, I'm, I'm in on cd i'm so. not moving cd regardless who they take uh so yeah uh, the Commanders, they got 11. So they could also take a wide receiver. No, I don't think they take a wide receiver. It seems there. like Drake gets, you know, sent the, sent there a lot or whoever, you know, it seems I've seen if Drake falls out of that top 10, that I've seen him to Washington a decent amount. Um, I, I don't like that pick for them. 
I don't think a lot of these teams in the top 10 here, I just wouldn't be taking a, a wide receiver. I would be taking, I think Atlanta, which we can go to next, would be probably the only one where I'm like, hey, you guys should probably take a wide receiver. <laughs> yeah, they really have no one. Like, everybody else, like, I, I mean, Washington, you got you got Terry, you got Curtis, you, got, you just drafted Brown. I mean. Yeah. You got Logan Thomas coming back. Right. I mean, you got Gibson, McKissick. Like, I think you're good. Yeah. Like, you, you don't need that right now. Like, Not at 11. Else. I right. mean, if you want to dress, sure. dress it on day two. Sure. Uh, but I, I wouldn't like it for Terry because no. we're, you know, no. that would that would suck. And I wouldn't love it for Drake if it was Drake there. Not with Wentz. Wentz I don't think Wentz is supporting two guys. Yeah, I think that's fair enough. In past years, maybe I would battle you, but I don't have that energy anymore. Yeah. Not that energy for Wentz or not that energy at all? No, just not for Wentz. Not for Wentz. Yeah. I got all the energy in the world for you, buddy. It <laughs> not, wasn't personal. <laughs> um, so Atlanta at eight, I think that they should take a receiver here, and I think Drake would be perfect for what they got going on. They're definitely taking Wilson. I already said that to start the show. Straight I think facts. you might be higher on London than I am. Yeah, I mean, I, I think the NFL's – not. Remember, I think the NFL's plenty high on Drake and uh, Wilson, so – I think we're. I think you're going to lock those probably two into the top 10, 11 picks. Yeah. Um, and I, you know, I do like Drake. I think I got Drake Wilson and and Burks kind of all right there together. Um, my, my my concern with Drake London is haven't we seen this before? I mean, with who? With whom? With whom? Yeah. Um, Mike Evans. Yes. Yeah, so okay. Yes. You're you're comparing him to Mike Evans. Great. You're comparing him. Um, should I remind you about one guy that you guys sold me on that I was I remember sitting in this room. You guys sold me on. Who's that? Um, one Hakeem oh, yeah. Butler. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Just because they're the same size and they play the same thing and they do the same skills. No. 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 I think London is a better athlete than Hakeem Butler ever Hakeem was. Hakeem Butler like just started playing wide receiver, just started playing football like a few years before he was drafted but, in the NFL, and he I'm fell to gonna, the fourth round too. I'm uh, yes, London. There's draft capital. There's 100 percent. There's draft capital building. I'll drink. You said it. <laughs> it's definitely I, draft capital is definitely a word. That we have to drink too. I'm concerned about him being that like. Go up and get it. That kind of just throw it up. But he him. doesn't have the Nikhil Harry contested catch. Um, too many of his targets were contested catches. But he was the line. only guy in at USC, the real USC. Don't even. We're not starting the <laughs> South Carolina debate. No, I I'm already Clemson. Fuck I USC. I fought too many good. I fought <laughs> too people Scar. about that. I could care less. Scar. Um, That's what they are. Scar. South Carolina. Yeah. Perfect. We can hate them together. Yeah. I don't hate them. They they hate themselves. So I, I, I'm not worried about Drake. I, I, I think he's going to be just fine. Kind yeah, I'm of not going to ever. I'm not. I can't. I can't hate Drake at I'm not, all. I, I'm I can't not hating him. I'm Drake just, all because of Hakeem Butler. I mean, that, I'm not discounting him. I'm just saying that type of player has not, over the last couple of years, has not translated well to the NFL. I think that I mean, Drake Mike London, Evans, Mike, Mike but, Evans, I, I, Mike I'm Williams. Saying, uh, but that's Ortega Whiteside had the had the Nikhil Harry contested catch threshold that he didn't meet, right? There's some metric that's like if you had this many contested yeah. catches out of this many targets, I think then you're Nikhil Harry bad. Yeah. I think he's uh, I think he's I mean he kind of does a little bit of everything. He's right. he's good in he's good in the red zone. He he certainly can box out and 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 go up and get it. He's going to be a quarterback's best friend. He can kill you on intermediate shit and he's got way more yak than anybody wants to give him credit for like i just i'm not really sure how he's gonna necessarily i'm just giving bust. him a slight discount i'm not saying yeah. you just ignore them all together i'm yeah. just i have cause for concern that's which yeah. is just did he did he contest the catches yes it seems like that's where he makes that used to be an awesome thing for people yeah, to but, be able to but do that's not that, but that's not the nfl anymore though yeah. Now you're I playing mean, in space. Sure, but he plays well in space. He knows how to move around in space. He's, He's got the slot. Right. I just have calls for him in the slot. That that would He's manufacture a PPR floor for you. Yeah, I'm, I'd I'd be stoked with Drake. I mean, obviously you don't know what Mariota's going to do, but I'm I'm down with Drake at to Atlanta. I'd be I'd be down with the, that. Is 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 the quarterback a thought at all for Atlanta at eight? Got to be. I don't think so. I wouldn't if I were them. 
He's going into it with Mariota. He's definitely going to. Sure, do it. we'll go. We'll go into He's it with. He's not we, making the whole season. We'll, we'll go into it with Mariota, and maybe we'll draft another quarterback in the second or third round what here. What second and round see. pick do they have? Uh, they have forty three and fifty eight. They could get one. I mean, they could package guess, both. Those. If they could trade back, I think they would. Um, I think they could. I think they could be a team that could move up into late first to grab somebody who, if somebody's following or a guy that they like, whether yeah. it be a Sam get Howell, a Desmond option. Ritter, sure. a Carson Strong kind of player. Get the fifth year option, yeah. Fifth I think, year option, right? I think that's a good. That's a, that's probably a good call at eight. There, I would either try to trade back or get the best player available, whether it was a tackle or. The wide receiver, I think you should probably take the wide receiver. And then if you want her to come back, I think it's a good call. Um, I like that. But I just no, – who you take Willis or Kenny Pickett at eight? No no thanks. Like, yeah. I'm just no. – yeah. I'm not doing it because that's what I – that's what we think we have to do here. Don't get pigeonholed into that shit. Yeah. Like – I'm totally on board taking wide receiver over a quarterback. I just yeah. didn't know if you guys thought they should take that. That's where they should go. Tampa. They should definitely think about it. But – I guess you you don't want Mario to make it the whole year because you want to lose a bunch of games and be yeah. bad and get a good pick the next year. So yeah. especially with a better quarterback class next year, right? So how about the Packers? Let's sh- jump around here a little bit. Packers twenty two and twenty eight. I've jump seen mocks around. where they take two wide receivers. They could take two. They they have to. Guerrero and Rogers but, is going to quit. But hey, they just signed Sammy Watkins. Yeah. Hey, go Tigers. Week one. Week one, Sammy baby. Week he, one, he doesn't have it anymore. That's too many residual injuries. I mean, I would be – I think, like I said earlier, anybody's going to be stoked, whoever goes to the Packers, whether it's 22, 28, or 53. They, have to, they have to take one at 22 or 28. They have to. If they it's probably going to take – yeah. And and maybe at 53. So, so well, let's not get too crazy here. Three? No, no, just two. 28 and okay. 53 or 22 and 53. Okay. Uh, so, odds are it's probably not going to be one of the top – Three wide receiver prospects at twenty two. No, but right? boy, if they got Burks, baby, maybe Burks fell. Burks could go there. Burks will be back as the number one wide receiver overall. Then, um, I think if Jamison Williams would get drafted by somebody where that people were excited about the same kind of quarterback combo deal, that um, he would go up. That first. I think he there's a decent chance that he could be number one too. Yeah. Um, so you think Jameson could vault up to number one? I don't think you're going to get people who are on Wilson. I don't think you're going to get them off Wilson. I think if, people are probably going to stick to their guns if that's if, the case. If Wilson or London go at 108 to the Falcons, they're going to be the they're going to be the 101. Yeah, but Burks. I mean, people well, people will start. They'll, if they'll Burks the went to 22, the board, they'll be the first wide receiver off the board. Well, I can't say where Hall's going to go. And the Packers could potentially trade up with 22 and 28, but they'll probably sit tight and see what happens. And yeah, I, Burks, what if they take? What if? What if they get Pickens? I'd be, I'm down with Pickens. Well, how high I'd be Pickens down with Sky go? Moore there or Dotson. Any of those guys, if they wanted to let those guys, whoever they didn't get out of the first round, if they came back and maybe moved up a little in the second round to try to secure whichever one of those guys was left, I'm, I think any of those guys would be yeah would would get a a great bump. I think for, the person at 53 becomes easy, probably a late first round pick. Yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe they take David Bell at 92. I'm down with that. He seems similar to Lazard. Yeah, I mean, so I mean, so they bring in. Let's say they bring in a, at least one wide receiver. Is it? Is it? Are you worried about Lazard? Were you? Were yes, you trying, absolutely. You just, I'm not. I'm not a Lazard. Guy. I mean, I don't think anybody necessarily is, but you got a nice little potential value bump here. Then, and, and you know, they they have had a couple of times where they, you know their connection was heating up a little yeah. bit. Um, that would that it's most certainly seemingly going to happen one way or another that they're bringing some more wide receivers in there. Um, so, if you know. They, they have to take one with one of those first two picks. Yeah. Aaron Rodgers is going to quit. He's like, he already, he must have known Devontae wasn't going to be there before he came in. So, he was like, all right, well, you need to bring me some more guys because I'm not fucking doing this without well, that was the, That was the weird thing that they're keeping these picks is like, I feel like Rodgers probably doesn't want to play with fucking rookies. Two rookies. You know, but what's what are his options? Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm really not sure why Jarvis Landry is not on the Green Bay Packers. Look, you why Allen Robinson didn't get. Look, you pay me fifty million dollars a year, and I'll let you two guys play wide receiver. I don't care. Yeah, yeah. Why they didn't get Allen Robinson? You know, Uh, I don't know. That would have been awesome. Or at least pick up Will Fuller right now. (laughs) Like, just get somebody. Sammy's the best they can do. We'll take Sammy. 
All right. Uh, anybody else you want to hit here? New Orleans, Lions? Um, I think New Orleans could take a wide receiver. Right, but there's probably not a whole lot of impact for anybody there, do you think? Can't like, really shut like Mike as far Thomas as, down yeah. anymore. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Veteran guys there. Do you think anybody's getting? I mean, not really. Could be tackle, wide receiver. Could be quarterback, quarterback wide receiver. Yeah, I mean, if you're buying well on Jameis Winston, I guess that could take a hit. No one's really – I mean, you, you either have him or you don't. I don't know that you're buying him. Yeah. Right? Is anyone trading for Jameis Winston? I don't think if I would – the price is right, I would trade for Danny, but anyone. Yeah. I guess, I guess I'd guess i still be I interested mean, yeah, in, a, but, in a receiver going there at 16 or 19, but he's not as, not as excited as you once were. I think Jameis and Williams, again, fits great there. I think they're – I think when they had Brandon Cooks, I think he was he did well there. He could be a great fit there. No Sean Payton. No Drew Brees. <laughs> Jameson. That would be a bummer for Jameson, I feel like. I would be bummed if he went there. Yeah, I don't think I want If If, if you're bummed want... that he's going there, then that means I want him then. Jameson Williams? Yes. Yeah, I think I would be a little bummed. Just because I'm not sure. We, got, we don't have a stable quarterback, I guess, but it's but no different than Jameis Atlanta. on LASIK. You have... Yeah. <laughs> it's fair. I mean, he does sling it. Yeah. He's just also going to turn it over. Yeah, that wasn't but, rational. But I don't care that about that from a wide receiver perspective. What's not rational? The fact that, that I didn't love a receiver going there, but I, I don't I don't love Jameson going there. There's so many other – Jameson going there. So There's many so many other, other fun spots. Yeah. That doesn't, it's not that fun in New Orleans anymore. But how do we know? Hmm. I mean, we're pretty sure, at least for this year, it's not going to be that fun. I mean, I think, I think if Jameis plays, I think Mike Thomas is going to be just fine. Like, be – a steal, uh, but Jameson Williams. I mean, I mean, you know, James getting there. He's gonna chuck it around the yard. Exactly. That's the whole thing. James is gonna. James is gonna throw. Yeah. Aaron he's, Lee or not, you know. Yeah. Exactly. Chucker, Chucker's chuck. Yeah. Yeah. Shooter's gonna shoot. But probably not. Potentially not long for the job. Yeah. I mean, it's just like I said. It's not really I mean, not all that have, different than Atlanta. I mean, I'd rather and, have James there than. Um, uh, Ian Book? No, no, Ian Book or um, uh, what's... Taysom? What's, Taysom. Yeah, it's completely disinterested if Taysom Hill's anywhere near the quarterback <laughs> position. <laughs> yeah. Um, How did that guy swindle so much money? So the Lions have a lot of picks. 2, 32, 34, 67, 97. Let's end on the Lions. Um, 2, probably can't take a quarterback. 32. I've seen mocks where they take Willis at 2. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I don't, I don't no like that at all. No way they do that? No. No way. I don't think so. I could see 32 because you decided you get a fifth-year option if you're in, in the 32 range there. Well, who so, even falls at 32? I mean, I don't know. They're, they're, every they're, person I just – Ritter, Strong, Howell. Corral. Corral. I don't think Corral eh. – I mean, th- there's – all this week it's, you know, oh, Ritter shot up into the oh, top 20 sure. and, uh, you know, everybody's kind of going in different directions. I think I if – I saw a mock draft where Ritter went 12 to the Steelers. Yeah. Which would be wildly odd to me, but – yeah, I mean they they probably could take a wide receiver with thirty two, but then they have thirty four as well, sixty six and ninety seven. Do you think do you think the Lions take a shot on a wide receiver? I mean, I wouldn't see why it would hurt. I mean, all you have is St. Brown and Reynolds. Yeah, right. You kind of you kind of should, but maybe not super high. But I mean, are you discounting St. Brown then? Because I don't think you're paying a whole lot for Reynolds right now. You're certainly not paying anything for Reynolds. Um, you're you're paying top fifty ADP for St. Brown. Yeah, but I think he's I think he's kind of got his PPR value kind of baked in there. Yeah. Get peppered with some targets. I mean, unless they draft a slot guy, which I don't think they would. But yeah, I mean, Dotson, Bell, Sky Moore, uh, Pickens. I, I would like Pickens there with, with St. Brown, actually. But I don't think he'd last that long. That doesn't sound that fun for Pickens. I want him to go somewhere more fun than the Lions. Chicago, 39. Yeah, more I think Chicago is another good spot for wide receiver. Yeah, they need somebody. Mooney, somebody else yeah. with Mooney. I like Mooney a whole lot. but doesn't sound fun there either. I'm with it. I could get down with Chicago. Then they just like ship out a bunch of stuff and then a bunch of good players and lot like they're just really re- I mean, re- you're, ready you're, to be real bad this you're, year. You're you're probably rebuilding it a little bit, but there's some things that you could you know we think Justin Fields could be pretty decent and get a little line in there and I think 
could be exciting. And get Matt Nagy out of there. Right. Well, he's out of there, so yeah. you're good. Yeah. See you. Um, uh, can try something new over there this year. All right. Anybody else before we wrap up that you would want to talk about um, that you think would be interesting or really kill somebody or um, not a whole lot of value getting killed? I thought we would have more in here. Yeah, I mean, there was a chatter of the Redskins taking – or the Commanders taking – a, a, a running back. Yeah. I don't see that happening with them resigning McKissick. I don't know why they would have brought in. They did bring in a bunch of higher end running backs, but just not really sure why you would, you don't have a whole lot of picks. Why at one of your only picks 47, any of those running backs that you brought in would be, you know, you got to take them there probably. And I just yeah. don't know why you would do that. Yeah. I mean, um, so you could take fourth, one thirteen, but that that doesn't you know that doesn't worry me a ton. Um, but it gives me pa- it gives me a little bit of pause on what they're going to do with Gibson. Right, and then you're like, it's the Redskins, so <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or sorry, the Commanders, the Commanders, yeah, the Washington Football Team. Right. All right. I, what we didn't do a bunch on the show was conjecture about where the quarterbacks are going to go and what type of impact Yeah, but that do you really have. care that much about the quarterbacks? I mean, like, so, like, what about DK and Tyler Lockett if, you know, they get a quarterback? I mean, they're going to get a quarterback, but where is the question? I mean, what do the Seahawks have? 9, Nine. 40, 41, 72. I mean, they got to do it in the first round if they're going to do it. Of... Too late. A quarterback? Yeah. So, I mean, like, if they take a quarterback at 1-9. They'd have to take him at 1-9, which it would probably be Willis. And Yeah, but I don't think – if if you take a quarterback that's pro-ready, it's it's Pickett, and his ceiling is just so limited. Yeah, I have no idea why you would do that. So, it's just like no one's going to take Pickett because his ceiling's uh, Somebody's going to take somebody's Pickett gonna for take sure. Him, like, look, you're going to be in the draft. You're going to be on the clock. You're going to be like, hey, you know, hey, we need a quarterback, so we're going to take the quarterback here even though – you shouldn't because that's what you're supposed to, you know, we need the quarterback. We're supposed to take the quarterback. Yeah. I'm just not discounting any of those. I mean. The teams that need the quarterback would probably be a little bit of an upgrade with no matter what rookie they take when they take them. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't know what exactly what Seattle's going to do, but if they take Willis, I mean, at nine, I guess. I don't know if you're playing them or sitting them. Yeah. I think, I think you're sitting them. Like, I don't I think th- you got to paint. I think you got to play him. I think I, th- I think that's the one situation where you could see him playing right off the bat. But I mean, is he really a downgrade over Drew Locke or Jacob Eason? Probably not. Probably not necessarily. Mm-mm. And they, you know, they want to run the shit out of the football up there without Russell now. Yeah. <laughs> and they're doing that, that with fucking Russ. guys. Finally, got we can do what we want. Yeah. Run the ball. Yeah. Yeah. I just I, do something else at nine. Don't do that. Right, they're probably well, going. I would say they're probably going past rusher at nine. I don't know what we accomplished today, but it was just a fun, fun discussion. Talked a little draft, kicked it around the league. You know, we don't do it. We don't do a lot of this because it's like kind of pointless. You know, so sorry <laughs> to ruin it for you if you made it this far in the video, but like, congratulations, we just wasted an hour of your time. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> what's going to happen in this draft? Things are going to get yeah. shaken up. That's it's fun to talk about, though. It is. It is. And then people do care what people think about what might happen. You know? Like, well, there's, it's out of our control. The point right now is that there's really not a whole lot to talk about that that isn't going to change that you can really talk, you know, super concrete about besides, you know, speculating on who might go where. And, yeah, you know. We, we, we have to speculate on the speculation. Right. Because we, we reviewed a bunch of mock NFL mock drafts to – see where they have guys slated and what the kind of correlation, you know, which we stay up on all that all, all, all off season, but like it's, it's all I, over the place. I don't think you have to have the exact person, but maybe the, pol- maybe the, maybe the, maybe the, the position, position. You're taking. Exactly. But you don't know if it's going to be the no, first or second yeah. or third round, you know, or a couple in later and, and, and then the later ones could definitely pan out, but you know, 50% hit rate on the first rounder. So you want to take stabs at those guys, I guess. And, but even that, you know, 50% hit rate. That's why I'm like, not, I don't let draft capital drink waste so so much into it. Yeah, but you gotta just let it breathe, let it let it relax. Talent still matters a fucking ton, regardless of situation, regardless of opportunity or who's there in front of him. That shit can change so fucking fast. Stick to your guns, you know. Take the guys you like. 
if the, if the Chiefs or the Packers draft a guy and you want to move him from three or four up to wide receiver one, okay. And you liked him, you know. Yeah. But, but, don't, gotta, but, but don't move your RB3 up to your 101 because he got drafted by the Chiefs. I'm not yeah, necessarily I mean, saying that was a bad process. The only argument I would have made at the time, which I, we did make, was don't take him over Jonathan Taylor. Still take Jonathan Taylor. We saved a lot of people <laughs> back in when we did that. I was sitting on the clock at 102 in a super flex draft, and I was like, okay, am I going to take Edward Solaire or am I going to take Jonathan Taylor? Because I knew Burrow was going to 101, and the guy took Edward Solaire at 101, and I took Burrow at 102, and I was like, done. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can't be mad at you taking Burrow and super flex over Jonathan Taylor. But still, I mean, super flex ADP. Jonathan Taylor's probably going off the board. But, ah, no, I think the six, I think the six quarterbacks. It's all right. Go right I, off it's the all right. Rip. At one eleven, that draft, I got, I got, um, uh, I got, um, oh my gosh, what's his name? Curtis Martin. No, I got the the quarterback from the, the Chargers. Why well, can't Herbert? I, Herbert. I got Herbert at one eleven. So mm. I was certainly not disappointed in that draft. Set to go for life there. Herbert yes. and Joe Burrow, two top five. Boom, boom. Super flex dynasty starter picks. But so Jonathan Taylor's like the first guy, not a quarterback <laughs> taken. Yeah. Uh, which, you know, up for debate whether you take Jonathan Taylor or a top five quarterback. I'll probably take the quarterback in Superflex, but I just get nervous without enough quarterbacks in Superflex. Anyways, uh, you guys got anything else? I'm going to hit the end no. music here. I mean, I'm definitely going to – there will be some editing of, of some some rookie rankings, but they're probably not huge tier jumps. Yeah, I don't I think, think you can uh, – yeah. I think you're moving around tiers, but you're not jumping, Within guys. tiers. Yeah. yeah. What's going to happen is now after the draft, there'll be another group of guys that present themselves that nobody's really talked about yet that now just secured a position that somebody likes or some capital that a lot of people like that now are, you know, hot names uh, throughout the the fantasy circuit there. And I really think that I think Mechie is going to be one of those guys. High point. I think Mechie is going to get high draft capital and – I think everyone's going to love him and be like, oh, at some point. Oh, I forgot about Mechie. This about guy was guy. awesome, was, yeah. Was good, wasn't he? Yeah, this is decent. Yeah. Decent uh, drop there. This guy can do all the dirty work for you. I like that. All right, well, we appreciate you guys joining us. If you're listening on the podcast, hit me with a five-star review on the iTunes or the Spotify. If you're watching on YouTube, let me get that subby. The subscribe The subscription. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Peace.